Massey Realty Trinidad Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Massey conglomerate. Founded in 1932 by Harry Neal and Charles Massey, Massey has grown into the most reputable and profitable conglomerate in the Caribbean basin. Composed of over 60 companies, the group has always been staunch in its values of integrity and ethical business practices. Massey Realty has been the broker for some of the largest and most complex property transactions in Trinidad and Tobago for local corporate entities and multinational clients. They have become one of the leading real estate firms in the country and continue to hold their leading position due to their extensive knowledge and expertise. Decoded is at Massey Realty to explore the journey of the commercial buyer and get some meaningful insight into where, when and why. Entrepreneurs and corporations alike flock to the real estate market to invest in commercial spaces. So let's see what's available for those setting up shop in the commercial sector. Hello again everyone. Hi. Hi. You again. Thank you, it's great to see all of you. Let's get straight into commercial properties today. Great, I actually have some questions for you. Okay, so, great, let's hear it. What exactly is qualified as an A class building? Well, I think I would like to say that. An A class building refers not only to the features of a building, but also the quality of environment for the occupants. And of course, you have the safety features fire systems, you have sprinklers, you have backup generators and of course the disabled people who are coming to your to your building so you have to provide proper access to that. They have washrooms, you have to have proper washrooms to accommodate them. High-end finishings and so it has to have generous parking. Then of course the lobbies you know must really wow you when you come into the lobbies and most of them do that. They must have at least two to three elevators. They tend to use a lot of glass mm -hmm. to allow natural light to come into the building. The safety of occupants and guests of A-class buildings is of prime importance to our landlords. Tenants and their visitors will experience enhanced levels of security. The important aspect of safety in a multi-story building are fire, earthquake and other evacuation emergencies. These buildings are fully monitored by fire and emergency alarm systems. There are also LEED certified buildings available for lease LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Design. One example is Savannah East. Over 85% of buildings exterior is clad with glass fiber reinforced concrete panels, flooding the building with natural light, a critical element when it comes to enhancing energy and productivity levels. The Savannah East rooftop has been cleverly designed to allow a range of recreational activities and to promote a healthy working environment. Special panels are installed on the roof that energize the majority of LED lights in the building. These lead buildings focus on sustainability and using multiple technologies to reduce resource consumption. They are constructed with sustainable materials and using construction and waste management techniques in order to receive lead certification. Wow, that's a lot of information. It's clear that you know creating an A-class building is not easy at all, and developers have a lot to consider. We partner with most A-class landlords, all A-class landlords in particular, because we understand their development. We understand the fact of what it takes to make a, and develop an A-class building. And we also understand the tenant, the corporate TNT, the petrochemical tenants, the embassies, etc., and what their requirements are. So we hold a hand from the showing right back to the lease negotiations. Well, great. I'm ready to go see some commercial properties today. Well, let's go and have some fun. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Up next on Decoded, this is money. Yeah. So, it's like this a money. Of yes, it is. Create the perfect space where modern design meets cozy comfort 
modern living by fans. We offer an original range of fashionable contemporary design furnishings and home decor. Our ultimate goal is to help you express yourself through design, through quality and value with brands that reflect international trends in fashion and interior design. Open your world at Modern Living by Fence. New, innovative, outstanding. My name is Simone Lacan and I have switched over to CNG for two years now. I live in Gasparillo and commute to Santa Cruz for work, so I drive about 100 kilometers per day each month. I spent about $1,000 in super. Since I converted to CNG, I now spend about $280 a month running that same route. Switching to CNG saved me $720 a month, which really helps me in terms of providing for my family. Make the switch today and watch the savings pile up. Imagine being able to earn more. Imagine getting the chance to live more. Imagine living a life where you can see more. Imagine you with JMMB, your best interest at heart. This property lies at the heart of San Fernando. It's a tri-level commercial building located on the southerner's well-known Point of Pair Road. I'm here today to meet with Karen Rosta of Massey Realty to learn more. Let's go check it out. This property lies in the heart of San Fernando. It's a tri-level commercial building on the well-known Point Pay Road. This building is move-in ready, sold fully outfitted with all approvals in place. This property would be ideal for the financial institution or insurance company due to its visibility and accessibility to amenities and transport. The property has parking for 17 vehicles on the ground level and additional parking in the basement with an exit on Shacken Street. Hi Karen. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Hi, welcome to San Fernando at last. Thank you so much. As you see, this is an excellent executive building mm -hmm. and it's a large building. And yes. It's on 14,620 square feet of land. Wow. So it will take us a while to go through, mm -hmm. but I can just start by saying this is a security um, room with, okay. with monitors okay. and also, well, of course, that's a reception right. area. So we will start on this side. Okay, Aria, do you observe? Uh, they have laminate and carpeted floors throughout okay. with skirting and mouldings and even blinds throughout. The blinds are lovely. Yeah. Very nice. So, Karen, tell me. What else does the building come with? As you know, the building is fully air conditioned. Okay. And it's been sold with furniture. Okay. Fully furnished and it has really never been used. Well, so it's virtually new. Well, yes, I mean, I can tell that the furniture is new. It looks absolutely beautiful. Well, yes, I really consider this building moving ready. Okay. But Ariel, I should mention that this building was really designed for a financial institution. Really? As you'll observe, there are two little slots there and that is for the tellers to oh, pass the so money here. Yes. So, like this money, yes, it's well. You take this money from here, and because it's money, mm -hmm. you have to keep it safe. Yes, so right. right across this corridor is a cash vault. Okay. Over on this side, mm -hmm. there are more offices. Okay. Oh, this office is nice. Yeah. Really bright, some beautiful colors. Yes. As I mentioned, this building is moving right. Yes, you because did. Because they have that. all the necessary approvals: town and country, right? Fire, and OSHA. Okay. 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 So what's around this corner? Okay, what we have is the electrical panel room. Okay. And the air handler room. Oh, this is for the air conditioner. Air conditioner. Right. right. Actually, there's an air handler room on the other floor too. Okay. And of course, in case of fire, the fire hose reel. Okay, great. So we know we're safe. Yes. <laughs> and just down the corridor, uh -huh. there's a telephone server room All and right. a UPS room. Lovely. So. What do we have next? We're going to the upper floor now. Let's go. This building is suitable for doctors, 
lawyers uh -huh. in multinational companies okay, lovely. and government oh, so offices. Yes, also maybe insurance companies. Certainly, or certainly. Banks. Yeah, yes. you have it. <laughs> I'm learning. Yeah. Wow, this is a great large open space and the colors are absolutely Oh. Yes, definitely. It's ideal for reception area mm -hmm. or additional cubicles. Yes. I must point out the gypsum ceilings with recessed lighting, uh -huh. emergency lighting powered by a backup generator, mm -hmm. PA system, smoke detector. Oh, perfect. Yes. That's great. This is the executive conference room. Okay. Wow. And we also have nice. other executive offices on the floor. Okay. And a kitchen. Okay. This is the larger of the two lunch rooms. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's a very, really nice size. Yes. Oh, what is out here? This is the favorite part of this building for me. Wow. The wonderful view of the Gulf. Chacon Street leads you to King's Wharf, okay. where you have the customs and excise department, mm -hmm. the general hospital, private nursing homes, High Street, that's the main street in San Fernando. Yes. That's about Three minutes drive from here. That's right there. Legal district, mm -hmm. seven minutes. Mm -hmm. Location, location, location. Yes, I can see that. As you all said earlier, it's not just about the technical features that come in the property. It's so much more than that. It's the environment and it's the ambience that you place your employees in. And this is amazing. I could tell you if I was an employee in this building, I don't know if I'll be going back to work after lunch. <laughs> I'll be right there with you. <laughs> This is the car park for the building. Okay. It holds 25 vehicles mm -hmm. and there's a drive through from Point of Pair Road and you exit on Chacon Street. Okay, great. So question, is this adequate parking for building the size? Not really, okay. but it's, we have available land at the back, mm -hmm. 6,483 square feet with town and country approval for a multi-story car park for about fantastic. 50 cars. Oh, that's fantastic. So what else? Is well, I have one else? more thing to highlight. Okay. This is the fire suppression unit. And underneath there, there's a system that holds 165,000 gallons of water. Okay. This building, two years ago, was approved and certified to be structurally sound by the Ministry of Works engineering department that's fantastic and also of most important mm -hmm. the building has been sold in a company's name and fantastic. therefore you will have some savings on stamp duty oh and that's a great incentive for buyers yes it is well let's head back upstairs okay. thank you for coming thank you so much for having me i hope you learned a lot about a class building oh yes i definitely did i know you have other buildings to go to yes and I know I'm going to see you again. Oh, yes, for sure. To drive safely. I will. Thank Bye. you so much again for everything. Bye. Take care. As you already heard, this building is moving ready, sold fully outfitted, and all of the approvals have already been obtained. I think this building would be ideal as an insurance company or a financial institution. Well, I have a few more properties to go check out. I'm really excited about it, so let's go. Up next on Decoded, what I like about this property is its multi-purpose uses. My name is Simone Lacan and I have switched over to CNG for two years now. I live in Gasparillo and commute to Santa Cruz for work, so I drive about 100 kilometers per day. Each month, I spend about $1,000 in super. Since I converted to CNG, I now spend about $280 a month running that same route. Switching to CNG saved me $720 a month, which really helps me in terms of providing for my family. Make the switch today and watch the savings pile up. Create the perfect space where modern design meets cozy comfort. Modern living by fans. We offer an original range of fashionable contemporary design furnishings and home decor. 
Our ultimate goal is to help you express yourself through design, through quality and value with brands that reflect international trends in fashion and interior design. Open your world at Modern Living by Fence. New, innovative, outstanding. Public health and safety in Trinidad and Tobago continues to be a pressing concern. The Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards is mandated to develop and promote national standards aimed at fostering health and safety. In this regard, the Bureau recently issued a national standard for driveway gates to help mitigate damages to property and injuries to persons. Following its release, the Bureau led by example and implemented the standard within its own facility. The Bureau's main gate has been outfitted with the three key safety features required by the standard. We urge you, homeowners and businesses, to ensure that your gate contains these important safety features. The Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards, advancing quality for you. Imagine being able to earn more. Imagine getting the chance to live more. Imagine living a life where you can see more. Imagine you with JMMB, your best interest at heart. Hi, I'm John Marcus from Massey Realty, and here we are on this busy Eastern Main Road to take a look at this commercial building, which is just minutes from Port of Spain and easy access to the highway. This property features a two-story building comprising 7,572 square feet with parking for seven cars and easy access to the highway and downtown Port Spain. This building can easily be converted into two separate spaces for the new owner and has a basement level that can be used for storage. This three-story building comprises over 7,500 square feet and sits on just over 5,000 square feet of freehold land. Let's take a look at it. What I like about this property is its multi-purpose uses. It can be used as offices, it can be used for specialized retail, it's air-conditioned, it has a full security system, and it has CCTV cameras. This room is used at present as a service area, but has access through the driveway onto the parking area. So if you have things to bring in, it's easy to get into here. One of the things that I particularly like about this building is that through this door, there's a stairwell which leads to the basement it's a very large basement, takes up the entire footprint of the building. It's about over 2,000 square feet, used for storage. And it also has its own access on the eastern side of the building. There's also an annex at the back, which has additional storage. So there's no shortage of storage area. On each floor, you have a full bathroom, the ground and the first floor. So we're going to take a look at the first floor in just a minute. So here we are on the first floor. This is a nice open plan space with a lot of natural light. There's a full kitchen and access both internally and externally. That means you can separate the floors easily, which means if you don't need more than one floor, you can easily lease one, which will bring an income, and that gives you a lot of options. So as we've seen today, this great commercial property, which has so much potential for income generation, great visibility, 
great access to the highway and, and lots of storage. Up next on the coded. Well, you could get lost in it. Yes, you can, but don't worry, I'll take you too. Imagine being able to earn more. Imagine getting the chance to live more. Imagine living a life where you can see more. Imagine you with JMMB, your best interest at heart. Create the perfect space where modern design meets cozy comfort. Modern Living by Fans. We offer an original range of fashionable contemporary design furnishings and home decor. Our ultimate goal is to help you express yourself through design, through quality and value with brands that reflect international trends in fashion and interior design. Open your world at Modern Living by Fans. New, innovative, outstanding. My name is Simone Lacan and I have switched over to CNG for two years now. I live in Gasparillo and commute to Santa Cruz for work, so I drive about 100 kilometers per day. Each month, I spent about $1,000 in super. Since I converted to CNG, I now spend about $280 a month running that same route. Switching to CNG saved me $720 a month, which really helped me in terms of providing for my family. Make the switch today and watch the savings pile up. Decoded is here today to meet with Ian Parkinson of Massey Realty to view a historical building in the heart of Port of Spain with close proximity to public transport at City Gates, Port of Spain's high-rise buildings and easy access to the highway. This seems like a great option for a commercial buyer. Let's take a look inside. This impressive property sits on 56,683 square feet of freehold land with convenient access and visibility from four streets. It bounds the northern side of South Quay, approximately 100 yards east of the main PTSC compound and within easy walking distance to the main central business district. It comprises not only office space, but huge warehouse spaces and a retail showroom totaling 63,850 square feet. There is a large internal forecourt that provides parking, but also covered parking for another 50 to 60 vehicles could be accommodated in the enclosed warehouses. This historical building was erected in 1860 and still has the majority of its original construction. It has since been refurbished in the early 1990s. Due to its prime location near the port and major hotels, this is a great property to develop as a cultural museum for carnival and pan or utilized as offices. Or it may be completely redeveloped for a parking garage with local retail spaces on the lower level and offices above. Hi Ian. Hi Ariel. How are you? I'm good. It's How great are you? to see you again. Good to see you again too. This place is huge. Yes, it's fantastic. Yes. Because this whole property consists of 1.3 acres of freehold land. That's in amazing. Port of Spain. In the heart of Port of Spain. Right? In the heart. Where we are standing uh -huh. is about over 8,000 square feet of open wow. space, as you can see. Yeah. And the rest of the property, mm -hmm. which we will take a look at okay. shortly, is about 68,000 square feet. That's a large right? compound. Yes, including two warehouses, uh -huh. air-conditioned warehouse mm -hmm. and open-air warehouse. Okay. Kind of thing. So we can take a look at that. Yeah, let's go. All right. We have so much of office space to show you. Mm -hmm. We have over 52,000 square feet of space. Wow, you could get lost in it. Yes, you can, but don't worry, I'll take you through. 
On this side, Nelson Street side, mm -hmm. you have the pedestrian access. Okay. And the owners, as you can see, are refurbishing the office space. Mm -hmm. So they're putting in the floors mm -hmm. and ceilings. And we continue to the warehouse where you'll see more space. Okay. This warehouse is fully air conditioned. Really? You don't really see many air conditioned warehouses. Not that much. Mm -hmm. But what is more convenient here is that you have office space, uh -huh. warehouse space, loading bay on one level. Oh yes, that is very convenient. I find this building very impressive. I mean, the sheer size alone, there's so many possibilities. I agree. Let's head out. All right. We're standing in the courtyard, mm -hmm. surrounded by historical stone, well preserved and maintained. Oh yes. We have security boots mm -hmm. with access, main access from Duncan Street. Okay, great. Tell me about the parking. How many cars can fit in this courtyard? You can get about 42 spots. Okay, that's good. Including covered park. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. All right. You know, of all the commercial space in this property that you've seen so far, mm -hmm. with the exception of Harvey Street Warehouse, yeah. it's all air conditioned. Oh, that's fantastic. And you can see the visibility on South Cape yeah. that you have. And access points mm -hmm. on three main streets. Okay. Duncan Street, Nelson Street, and Harvey Street. That's great. Harvey Street being the shortest street in Port <laughs> You know, this spot we're in right now, this is my favorite part of the property. Not just for the historical aspect. I mean, it's been around over 100 years, right? More or less. Yeah. But as you mentioned, the visibility. I love these window panes. And there are a lot of them. And they bring in such nice natural lights. That's true. Mm -hmm. And to add to that, mm -hmm. there are not many warehouse spaces in the city. In the heart of Port of Spain. Yeah. yeah. And you have two warehouses. This building on a whole is very impressive and I really do think it's a fantastic option for commercial buyer. I'm very glad you think so. <laughs> so thank you so much Ian for taking the time to show You're me this property welcome. today. I really appreciate it. Take care. All the best. As we saw, this vast building is located in the heart of Port of Spain with easy access to all modes of transport. It's a historical building on over an acre of freehold land with seldom seen warehouse space in downtown Port Spain. Its location is quite convenient as it's surrounded by many prominent commercial buildings. And because of its size and prime location, the possibilities are endless.